The US Navy wanted it to be painted black and yellow so it would be visible. The Army Air Corps wanted red and white for the same reason. But the consulting architect of the Golden Gate Bridge liked the color of the primer used to coat the steel. So that's the color he kept it. It was named International Orange, and the bridge is the next stop in our series of virtual vacations. The Golden Gate Bridge gets its name because it spans what's called the Golden Gate Strait. This is a three mile long and one mile wide body of water that connects the Pacific Ocean to the San Francisco Bay. Before the Golden Gate Bridge, there was a bustling ferry system uh, that ran people and commerce between San Francisco and the Redwood Empire to the north. It's actually unknown how many people worked on the Golden Gate Bridge at the time of construction uh, because records were, were scarce from that time. Uh, today we have close to 200 employees who work to maintain, to paint, to weld, to uh, make sure that the bridge is in, in good and safe operating condition. So we're right now getting sandblasting on the outer part of the bridge, which is up underneath. Right now, we're, where the walkway is, where the pedestrians ride after 3.30, so the cars are probably just about 15 feet out. You can't feel it, but the bridge is probably moving you know, like this, as we're standing. In a containment like this, a rough estimate, 16 people sandblasting for a month and a half. Our painters will go out to the most critical, you know, structural areas of the bridge where the fog and the salt and the wind has corroded the paint. The salt eats this bridge up, the fog eats this bridge up. If we don't continue to paint it, it's just gonna rot away. Right here is one of our foghorns. We have two of them down here, one over, one on the east side, one on the west side. We've always had foghorns here at the bridge since, the, since it was built. Not much changes in foghorns, they just make noise. We've tried automated systems that just doesn't, doesn't work. So the, the old standby system of actually visually seeing works the best because there's people here 24 seven. So as of July of 2018, the toll to cross the Golden Gate Bridge is $7 if you have a fast track or $8 if you don't, maybe you're up from out of town. And this supports much of the work that happens on a daily basis to maintain the bridge, to keep it looking good and ensure that it's accessible for everyone.